the name of Jesus Mungu agataka kukupatia na kunipatia a healing contact with God's power. Hallelujah. Number one. Kama utapona. Hallelujah. Na ufika pahali usikie sasa sasa. Kuna kitu kina mtoka mungu kina ningia. Na kina sababisha nipone. Lazima kitu kimocha uponya mtu. Ni healing God. I want to teach it that way. Can I tell something, friends? Do you know kuna wakati badala ya kusema una imani watakiwa watu mungu wa kunene? What are you saying about this issue? Healing ni wakati mungu ana there are times unagojea mungu. Let's give an example. Ukeda katika Psalms chapter 14. Psalms chapter 14. Bible inasema a process of healing ambayo ilitokea through God's healing. Inasema hivi, I waited patiently for the Lord. Kuna wakati ambapo my brother, my sister najaribu kuganisha imani yangu kuitegeneza sijui itatoka wapi. And the only option ni kuenda bila zaban mwambia God speak to me about this issue. Kaneta something. We, mumaio bea mutu. Muka muombea. Muka muombea. Muka muombea. Muka sema hadi na barara kupona munaona ziri kwa mbaya. Is that true? Is it true? Umewai ombea brother yako akona vidoda na ni kweli wivu nasikia ukona imani. Una muombea, una muombea na unashua, what is happening? Kuna wakati ambapo unaitaji mungu menyea kunene. Whereby, unabia mungu, God nataka sasa unene. What are you doing? And what do you want with my brother? Hallelujah. Bwana asifiwe. Bwana asifiwe. Mimi ni mara nyingi sana nimejipata naombea mtu anapona kupitia kwa healing. Kabisa, kabisa. Unakuta nimetoka hapa. Mungu ameniambia kuna wakati mama Mrs. George alikuwa hospitali. I, 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 kuna kijana wake anafikia kwa naitwa Budhia. Eh? uko area unajua Mungu anipa hiyo jina usiku nikaba rise up rise up intercede for this boy the whole night the yomba pray kuna mtoto mama sasa kuvuka kulikuwa kubaya sana until god akaniambia sasa nimemponya so nilipigia baba simu asubuhi another day brother mwingine akanipigia simu mtoto wake nikakuta brother hata nimpigia brother analia analia nabia bishop there's no hope for my baby nikamwambia no 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 nikasema number 1 can you transfer that baby haraka hadi mali fulani and then nilipo piga simu nikasikia tena ah the brother is hopeless nilikuwa naja kuhubiri hapa nikapiga magoti pale kwanza Bwana kaniyabi. No, you know the voice that God gave me? Plant a seed. <clears throat> Niambua now, amini na upande begu. Nikashika begu ambao ni mungu iniambia, nikayombea, nikasema I plant it as an atonement. Na nikasema bwana kasema, amemponya. Ni vizuri mwana njiki kunenewa. Otherwise, akiri ya mutu Akiri ya mutu ikienda bere sana. Vire wewe unajijua na unajua na nina nina nini. Sometime utaweza kuwa na shida. Na mungu hupenda kunena. Mungu hutamani kujulisha watu. Mungu hupenda kunena. Siku moja niliitu hapa kwa raka sana. Nikabua sasa bishop. Nikaitu na family hapa ministry of works. Nikabua now binti yao ako karibu kufa that huyo binti alikuwa anashikwa na kitu ugojwa ambao ana 
kaa haongei ni kama amekufa for three hours or four hours. This time, ikawa kama there's no hope. I don't know what happened. Kasta na kamoja sui kaka kasadi siku. Kaka penja, kaka kuja. Samo, let's go. Tulipo enda. Siku kimbilia kwekrea mikono. Roho abuana haku niongoza hivu. What I did is, God, what do you want with this daughter? Bwana kaniambia usimwe kere mikono. They're making noise. Bwana kaniambia usimwe kere nini? Mikono. And then I listened. I listened. Bwana kaniambia geukia wazazi. Nikawaliza. Huyu mtoto alipokuwa akinyonya. What did you do? Kusuma bishop hatukufichi. Tulichukua nyure yake kidogo na kucha tukampeleka kwa mchawi bwana kaniambia waambie waokoke na watupie dhambi walipokuwa kiokoka binti akapona even now haja hiko cha katena why nilisikiza bungu haleluya 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 you can have healing contact through listening to god are you ready, are you ready to hear god are you ready to hear God, friends? Hallelujah. And me and praise the Lord. One time, nikapata was chano wame pitia kwangu. Wame talk the full gospel. Kabia bishop, we have an issue now. Bozi yetu, anataka kujinyonga. Watawa kujitia kitanzi, whatever what you use. To commit suicide. Kasa, why? Huyu mama, akona only one son, na nisiko mother. Ni wara wa mama very hard working. The woman is hard working. Akona hardware, oh my God, powerful. Na miaka yote nafanya kazi, akitumainia the son. The son alikuwa Canada, amefanya degree ya masters. So all the hope ni kwamba mama alitai. The son comes and marry, then takes over the business. Kijana lipo kuja jameni wapendo, I don't know what happened. Akaanza kugojeka. Akaanza kugojeka. Anaeza anguka hapo. Kijana anaka the whole day in a coma. Hayele weki. Chances za kijana kuishi. Zikawa there's no hope. Mama kazema hivi. Sita gojea my son akufe bere yangu. I'll die. Afadhali mnikufe ni muache tuwa kiishi. Haya, na mama akawa na depression. Nikaweza wazi sana, wanakawa wapi, waambieni na kuja. Tukaenda mpaka buruburu. And I remember tulipo enda, nikapata ankoa kwa hapo, kijana huyu alikuwa ameowa haja kaa sana, na mama yake kwa hapo, I ask God, God! Unatakaji! Bwana kaniambia, mwekere mikono ajazwe Holy Spirit. That evening, healing was through baptism with the Holy Spirit. Kabia, pika magoti. Kumwekrea mikono jameni ya kajazwa. Kumwekrea muke wake ya kajazwa. Bwana kwabia, bwana kaniabia, they are healed. I listened to God na nikapata healing contact. That man, takadi yake ya meandika kama slogan, Jesus heals, Jesus saves, Jesus heals. I pray that instead of trying and guessing and getting confused, Holy Spirit can speak. Naude healing contact. Come on, get you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I come to discover that God speaks a lot. God speaks a lot. Kama kuna kitu mukikisha maana, it is where it is God's work done in God's way. I tell you, it's sweet. Kama kuna kitu igumu, it's God's work done in our way. Unakuta kwamba it's too difficult. So I mean, God's work done in God's way. Hallelujah! 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 That's why unaona Psalms 40. Inasemaje, Psalms 40. I waited patiently for the Lord. 
which method did God use? The Bible says, and he inclined to me and heard my cry. He also brought me up out of a horrible pit, out of a mere cry, clay, sorry, clay, and set my feet upon a rock and established my steps. And he has put a new song in my mouth. Nataka muagale Psalms 40. Psalms 40, Psalms 40 talks about he did. He did. He did. He did. Can you check your Bible? Huyu mwenye meandika saburi ni David. This is a Psalm of David. Inasema, the only thing alifanya ni kugojea buwana kwa saburi. The rest is done by God. Ya kwanza, he inclined to me. Ya piri, he heard my cry. Ya tatu, he brought me out of the horrible pit. Ya ine, he brought me out of Mary Cray. Ya, ta, ya tano, he set my feet upon the rock. Ya, ya sita, he established my steps. Ya saba, he has put a new song in my mouth. Seven things is God doing them. Mwanadamu hapo ni mmoja tu amefanya. Gani? Nilimgojea kwa saburi. The last he did. He did. He did. Mara saba. May God help you to know his healing process. The best healing process is not your own. It is God's way. It's God's way. It's God's way. It's God's way. It's God's way. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Maranjiko Biblia. What wengi. Roho wa buwana adi wanenea. And in obedience. Hallelujah. Kukatokea healing point of contact. Ya healing. And tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. I commit you to the voice of God. Hala masha karaba. Kwa maana kusikiza mungu. Kusikia tu sauti ya mungu. Is powerful. Healing contact with God's power. Do you know when I was a Can I tell you something? Do you know kuda imani? Ya ugojo ambao meambua hauponi. See, these days, kama manadamu. In a course, difficult. I can send you to God. Just tell God, God. Munakubuka kuna jamaa na ito Hezekiel. Ali adikuwa barua na mfame wa Assyria. Ali kuna itua Zenakareb. Zenakareb was the king of Syria with a mighty warrior. Na jeshi la Assyria was dreadful and large army na iliogopo the whole world. Judah ilikuwa kataifa kadogo tu kakabira bini. Judah na Benjamin. Ujama has conquered India, has conquered Mesopotamia, has conquered Israel, has, has conquered Syria, has conquered Turkey. Judah a tiny nation. Do you know what he did? <laughs> Alikuja kwa gate ya Judah. Aka adikia mfame Hezekiah barua. Aka muambia um, unajua ni meangusha mighty nations kama he na he na he who are you to me who are you wewe ni nani sasa wewe ni nini wewe juda kitu kidogo hivi barua hiyo bible nasema hezekiah alienda akaanguka kifudi fudi in the temple akaiweka hiyo baba soma hii Soma hii barua. Soma hii barua. Ni kweli za nakarebu ameangusha mighty nations. But we could be tiny but with a mighty God. Hallelujah. Akasema mungu. Do you know kitabo hezekaya amalize maombi. Mungu alishuka kwa gate. Vire sasa za nakarebu amezoea kupiga wengine. Mungu alimpiga kamuangamiza. In fact, I end up dying. I tell you, there's healing in hearing God. Mm, Jesus has an answer. His voice, you raise faith. 
Na katika sauti ya Mungu kitu kingine hutokea ni kwamba anytime God speaks Bible samaje alitazama neno hilo alitimize. Ukiangalia katika katika uh, Jeremiah cha, chapter 1 utaona Bible inasema hivi Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 12 inasema Then the Lord said to me you have seen well for I am ready to perform my word. Hallelujah. Anytime God speaks, can you hear this phrase? He is ready to perform what he has spoken. Mungu hata ogea neno tu aliachilie. He releases word. Na ana, you know it says he hastens and quickening and bio and bid ya kwenda kulifanya. Healing contact with God's power. Did you get that now? Nisali miene kama umesikia hiyo. Kirukigine kinauda healing contact with God's power is when you would know Jesus is around. Kuna kitu kinaitua special manifestation of Jesus. Special visitation of Jesus. Now, kuna wakati katika huduma na kuna wakati katika maisha ya mtu you discover presence of Jesus around. Sasi, wakati ule mwingine naabudu tu na unaona shida, lakini nimegundua mahali naombea katika imbanda I sense Jesus is around. Now, ukiangalia Biblia utaona kwamba katika Biblia kuna watu waligudua Jesus ako karibu. Na for instance, ukiangalia hasa kitabu cha Mark ambao anaita the Acts of Jesus Christ. Eh, the Acts of Apostles, Acts of Jesus Christ, the book of Mark. Ukienda Mark chapter 5, Biblia inasema Verse 27. <laughs> when she heard about Jesus. Manake nini? Alipo jua Yesu ako area. Alipo jua Jesus is around. Let me say this friends. Siku hizi waeza kukosa kuona Yesu na macho. Lakini kuna vire katika jina la Yesu Kristo mwana wa Mungu aliye hai unagudua Jesus ako area presence of Jesus is real around me sometimes unahudumu hata sometimes unakuta wapendwa kaleta something sometimes mimi nimekuwa nimekutana na injili na hubiri kwa imani lakini kuna wakati tasi kwa imani sasa you just sense Jesus is around Na kuna hiyo kitu menistua sana. You know, I don't know how it operates. Ni kama ni kwekerea mtu mikono hivi, Jesus anawekerea na mimi. You just sense. Ata saini ya zahubiri hapa. And I sense now. Si hile imani ya kawaida. Kuna utebezi, Christo ametebrea madabahu. One time, nilikuwa... Nimeenda kuhubiri Kajiado town. Munajua our church in Kajiado ilikuwa chini yetu. Na nikuwa na, 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 na crusade kubwa katika muji wa gomu na unaitua Bulbul. So what I did, nilipeana meze ya buwana Kajiado and then I drove all the way through Isinya. Nikakuja kiseria, nikakuja mpaka gong. Nikaingia Bulbul. Brothers and sisters, I sense the presence of my master. Nipo kwa ni mesimama, something happened. Watu wa mesimama huko, na munajua bulbu, ni muju mejawa Islam. Now, ni kiongea, ni kauna kuna mutu ametoka kwa anga huko. Anakuja hivi. Ni kasahao ni kukrusade. Nikam tazama, nikasema, Jesus, thank you for your visitation. Nipo inuwa mikono, aka 
akaja akanisalimia nikasahau niko close nikageuka tuogee akabadilika sasa akawa haniruhusu ni muone but i could sense a koelia <laughs> wow that day i didn't preach the way i'd planned i preached his way kukatokea impartation ya gift of prophecy and word of knowledge nilinua mure mkono niliguzwa nilinua hivi Dio niliita watu kwa majina from the houses. Niliita waislamu kwa majina. For that minutes I prophesied. That minutes word of knowledge. Dio niliita watu more almost 200. Kuna mtu hapa ambaye ni kipofu anaitwa Fatuma pata kuona. Kuna mtu aliye kwa nyumba hapo nyuma nikiwete atembei mwambieni atembei. Mimi si wana jielewa nilikuwa kama mtu anabeba stima ya kuabukizwa for that minutes sikuwa najisikia i was raising healing jesus was around <laughs> jesus was around and the brothers and sisters i remember nipofungua macho nikapata watu waliosimama mbele yangu Waislamu wanalia machozi watu wengi wengi almost 200 wanalia machozi wameokoka nikaogopa hata sigehubiri tena nikaambia bishop hiyo area can you take over niliambua on sunday kanisa la burbur hao watu walijaa dani kuna kwa compound na nje ya compound jesus i give you praise kuna wakati atokioba peke yako you sense the visitation of jesus in a special way hata kama uboni you sense he is around in jesus name kuna wakati unaweza ingia pahali ambapo kuna vita and you sense jesus i sense he is around now this kind of thing hutokea sana Munasikia watu wanasema kama Tiro Osborne the day Jesus visited our house. Amen. Hallelujah. Knowing Jesus is around. Jesus is Now wakati uta sense Yesu ako area hata kama mwana unasikia tu kuna uwepo usio wa kawaida wa mokozi aliye shida kifo. Kitu cha kwanza unapokea kitu kinaitwa quickening hata kama kabisa uko kwa mashimo kama Gideon unapokea a new feeling you are not the third person aliye kwa mashimo presence of god has changed you kitu kingine ambacho utagudua kimeanza kazi ni gift whenever jesus is around utagudua kuna karama ambao ndani yako imekuweka ifanye kazi but imeinuka wewe ukiwa dada wewe ukiwa dugu amen jambo la tatu utajipata you are moved you are moved by power to do things and to speak things narudia tena you are umesukumwa na nguvu kunenea hali na umesukumwa na nguvu kutenda jambo Mumeada what I'm talking about. Are you understanding? Wagabu wanaelewa sasa. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Oh my God, I give you praise. Hallelujah. I tell you brothers and sisters kuna wakati tu nagudua Jesus is around. Na unaanza kusikia sasa si wewe sasa. Kuna nguvu ambao si yako. Kuna uguzo ambao sio wako. Kuna quickening power ambao si ya kawaida. Na hiyo nguvu inakusukuma kuwekelea watu mikono. Inakusukuma pia kunenea hali. Inakusukuma pia kutenda jabo. Unakuta Jesus now is moving through you. Hallelujah. Mambo ambayo nyumbani kwenu haijawahi nenewa unayenenea ukiwa hapo. Sometime unapata ukisema hivi endeni muambie 
my brother Kamau ako aliyepotelea kijabe amepona Jesus I worship you Jesus point of contact his presence is point of contact it moves you to take step it connect you with his strength god can just quicken you my brother usikie wewe sio the brother liko mezoya kuna kitu kimetokea unasikia you can move any mountain hallelujah unakuta is not the real me kuliyo do wekeka hmm unasikia mpendwa bereni ulikuwa shetani anakutisha sasa unasikia sasa kumshabulia you have a spirit of attacking the devil it's not real you it's the presence of christ in a special way sometimes unakuta mlikuwa mmekosana na mume wako au mke wako last year hata muonani unasikia na mpigia samwambia my brother i forgive you you know the healing power inaingia in all manner una unasikia kupigia your dad dad i love you baba mlioko sana 10 years ago that is my god kuna nguvu inakufanya unene healing hata kwa watu mlioko sana unene healing kuna watu ambao hata mungu alikuambia usaidie una shughuli unakuta umewekwa upendo wa kusaidia watu ambao ungesaidia you have healing effect you have healing contact hallelujah I pray that Jesus visit you. And you sense you are not ordinary. You are not ordinary. You are not ordinary. You are not ordinary. Haya mashakaraba. It's possible apendwa mtu wa Mungu ajitakase na upate hiyo favor. It's possible. It's possible katika huduma hiyo jambo kutokea. It's possible. It is possible and I believe with all my heart wa mama mulio hapa wa dada mulio hapa hakuna mtu hawezi pokea special visitation Jesus is Lord Hallelujah number three. a healing contact with God's power kuna wakati Mungu atafanya you discover favor or the way God works with you. Kuna wakati ambapo Mungu agetaka kukufanya ujue kuanzia sasa atakuwa akikutumiaje. You get born again in the ministry. God the Father in Jesus name anafanya nigudue kibali ambao niko nacho. Na hicho kibali ni vile mungu kuanzia sasa ameamua kunitumia. Naomba mjipeana kwa Bwana na msichelewe. Kwa maana katika jina la Yesu, wewe ambao naona kana kwamba hujulikani, katika jina la Yesu, the Lord you cause you to discover a special favor about God now. Na utaanza kujua from today the way God will be working with you kutoka sasa hallelujah unagudua sasa the lord ameanza project na wewe mungu ameanza project na mimi na amefanya nigudue favor ambao amenupa amenipa na kutoka leo i have now discovered the way my father will be using me the way god has a pointed me kutoka leo nimegudua kuna favor imenishukia na kuna level ya huduma nimepewa na kuna ile jia Mungu atanitumia i say you can get healing point of contact kwa kugudua discovering a special favor that has started to work through you Oh I release this to you friend jipeaneni kwa bwana for I sent in my heart kuna wamama na wasichana na wazee hapa na wavrana who you discover that nimegudua kutoka jana kutoka leo asubuhi kuna ile jia Jehovah atanitumia naye I have discovered favor of how God want to use me from today may the lord bless you <laughs> Hallelujah. I give God praise because it happens. I give God praise because it happens. I give God praise because it happens. Hallelujah, hallelujah. 
Oh my God, raise somebody to discovery level. Whereby you just discover sometime wewe ni kama Paulo unaweza enda tu usalimia mtu hivi na apone. You discovered God amekupa favor ya kuponya kwa jia nyingi sana. You mashekele babo saa. Sometime unagudua kwamba ukiingia nyumba ya mtu tu hivi, healing power enters with you. Haikuwa hivyo beleni, but I discovered new favor. Hallelujah. Oh my God, my God, may God do that in this church. Hallelujah. You know, friends, you know, one time, nirigia pahali ni kuwa na mtana mkupa sana kapsa bet. And I remember, kijana akaingia pare nyuma. Na kama kawaida, mimi hupena kuchoko za vijana. Kapia, kijana wewe, kuja kabele. Asema, hey, 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 habari yako, ha, sasa nigudua ni kama ni, ananichezea. Nisema habari yako anarudia. Unasomea wapi? Anarudia hiyo. Nikaona kanisa watu wanaanguka. Pup pup pup. Watu wanapiga duru. Sasa na mimi ni mgeni nikashidwa gai. Kwa nini kujana ni mukora? Only to discover tagu azaliwe hajaongea. Mimi ndio sijui sijui kwamba nilipoanza kuongea alipona pale kwa mlango na the more aliingia kuna healing wave ilikwenda goga watu people got healed kitabu acha nianze kuhubiri miracles are real there are times you discover how god is moving through you yes god can use you hallelujah pigia yesu makofi hallelujah god can use you kitu ambayo ujui Mulisika kuna brother moja alikuwa amegojekea hapa nje amegojeka 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 na hakutokea hapa nje atalinyemenea wakati na kalia ikiti akauza hii kiti hivi nguvu ikanitoka ikamponya ukojwa wa muda mrefu sana alisudia baadaye and he discovered you discover then lord does it mean nimebeba uponyaji if only naweza guza watu wali wanaoamini na mafuta huyu aligudua kwamba haya bishop ukiguza guo yake au mali ya meketi ukiwa na imani kuna uponyaji anabeba aliponywa bila kuja hapa alinyamalia kiti yangu pale nimekalia kuna kitu kinaitwa discovering favor fulani no kiugudua unajua i now know nikikaa mbele za bwana nimebeba uponyaji kwa jia fulani Bwana awabariki. Hallelujah. Siku moja England mzee moja a mighty preacher alitembelea nyumba. Akawa kwamba amepewa guest house nyumba ya wageni ya hiyo nyumba. Mume wa dada aliyekaribisha huyu mujiristi alicherewa kuja Akawa kwamba amecherewa kazini ni wale watu hataki kusikia Yesu. Ni kama hivist. Mupaya. Mupinga kristo. Sasa mujirisi alipotoka. Akitoka hivya kienda. Mama kabia. Oh evangelist. You have forgotten to intercede to pray for my husband. Na mujirisi akambia ule mama. Do this. There's a point of contact. Where? Enda kwa guest house. Zire branketi nimetumia. Zire sheet nimetumia. They have my healing power. Pereka kwa your bedroom. Mama, najua mama mbuya mnatia unabi. Haraka. Shub, mashuka. Hey, hey, hey. Muzea kaweko kwa kitada yao. Muzea lipo kuya kawabwa, please. Wana itaka na handi. Jiwe kere kidobu mzike. Within five minutes, kwa bedroom. Mama isikia kiriyo. Nini? I want to get saved. Evangelist aliacha point of contact kwa bed sheets. You need to discover friends point of contact of healing. To God be the glory. Pigia Yesu makofi hallelujah. 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 Ah, kuna fever. Kuna fever ya uponyaji tu utaigudua very soon. 
another way ya kukudua healing contact with God's power ni mugu mwenyewe his sovereignty kukupa impartation ya gift ya healing mugu tu in his sovereignty, sovereignty anakupa impartation because of ministry purpose and his glory Unakuta kwamba wewe uko kwa crusade wewe uko kwa huduma umejaza Holy Spirit na wakati umefika Mungu ajitukuze na uko katika jia ya Mungu ya kujitukuza uko katika jia ya Mungu ya kusudi lake uko katika jia ya Mungu ya kumpendeza Mungu aone ni vyema akupe tu out of his power gift impartation ya gift ya healing it is possible friends Ukute wewe hata huku jua. Wewe ulikuwa tu unaendea na huduma. Watamani Mungu aponye, lakini Mungu akupe uponyaji kama gift. Whereby hauponyi kwa imani, waponya kwa gift. There is healing by faith and healing by gift. Kuna wakati unapewa gift of healing. Mtu usikia umebeba uponyaji. Unajua wengine huoba kwa imani. Lakini mtu aliye na gift are you hearing this? Mtu aliye na gift haobi kwa imani. Aliye na gift you release healing. Unakuta takwambia sasa fulani eh simama na utebe. Yeye usikia ndani yake. Amebeba your miracle. Amebeba your healing. He just declared it because of the gift. Ile ingine ya imani ni kwa kila mtu mikono baba naomba mponye huyu. Baba kwa imani mponye huyu. Lakini gift, I will be evil. Unajikuta, you already have the healing. You release it. And that's why John and Peter, when they were entering the temple, wakapata ule jama kwa beautiful gate. What did Peter say? Silver and gold we have none. But what I have, I give to you. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Rise up and walk. Hakusema I pray Mungu ponya huyu, muhurumie huyu, Mungu muinue huyu. Gift haifanyi kitu hapa namna hiyo. Gift release it. Prayer of faith unaomba kwa imani, lakini gift you just command. Unasema rise up and walk. Fugua macho pata kuona. Hallelujah. 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 Oh my God. Peter alisema kile niko na Cho, na kupa. In others, already the gift of miracle is working. Huyu do jama Peter agetoa apron zikapone, handkerchief zikapone. Peter alikuwa akipitia kwa street za Jerusalem he shadow could release anointing of healing. I pray Mungu akufikisha hilo. It's possible friends. Ukute tu umebeba uponyaji wa mataifa. My God, I give you praise. Umebeba uponyaji wa wadanda wanaumia. Umebeba majibu ya watu ambao kawaida haipatikani. Hey, hey. Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord. Oh my God. That's why munaona mutu kama Elisha. Wakati alikuwa kwa ule mwanamuke abaya kuwa na mtoto. Alimuambiaje? Asema bwana such a time next year utakuwa na mtoto. Hakumwambia kuja ni kuobe. Baba fungua baba guza yeye. Gift release it. Gift already kuna miracle you just produce. You can have point of contact kwa kupewa karama. I wish mkekuwa na hiyo nyote. Mwingine haya na gift of miracle we gonna in a healing it really works it works it works it works huyu aliniambia siku moja alikuwa sijui ni miguu ifanye kazi ni miguu sijui alikuwa kiwete hiyo shuda hajatoa na hivi ni ushuhuda wa zamani sana alikuwa na kaki na gop atewazea wakatebea wakaabwa ugiana atebei akora shinda ya miguu do you know where you Chukua hii pesa. Kimbia, ukanunue maziwa. Chulikibia. Akapona. Gift. <laughs> Haitafuti. Hayulizi. It delizes. <laughs> hey! Ulizikiaje? Ata huku. Haba. 
wendo yamoro waru e dozi yaga e wedi e kebesha katika jina la Yesu kibia leta mazua tukujwe kapona mara moja yani you call it people's healing ah it's possible when a point of healing na Mungu through gifting ah through gifting na inawagojea hiyo gift miguuni mwa Yesu inawagojea kwa uwaja wa crusade na kugojea kwa mitai na kugojea ai naomba tu tupewe uponyaji wa mataifa twende tukisema chukua godoro lako tembea enda nyumbani haleluya unaambia mtu wewe shida yako ni gani sisi kipata kusikia Yako ni gani wewe? Siodi pata kuona. Yako ni gani wewe? Miguu haitembei pata kutembea. Gift as a point of contact ya healing. Hiyo ni gift kabisa. Si maombi anaombea watu, baba shuka kwa uwaja ponya. Hiyo ni obi imani. But gift haisemi baba shuka. Gift nasema gift inaangalia watu. Nasema yes. Hapa kuna mtu <laughs> ambaye miaka 20 hajaongea aka wapi analetwa unamwambia pata kuongea haleluya unaingia pahali unasema hapa kuna jamaa ambaye ameletwa akiwa tangu akiwa mtoto hajawahi nyosha mikono aka wapi give nasema nyosha mikono already umebeba uponyaji that's why pia sema kile niko nacho nakupa kumaanisha i already have your miracle as anointing and gift tebea na katebea sio ni mzuri wa pedwa it's possible it's possible tamani tu kutukusa mungu jitakase na utaona hiyo karama kupata si ngumu point of contact healing through you ingine ni bwana inuliwe sana haleluya haleluya kuna wakati healing contact with God's power ni gift ya watu wengine katika kanisa kuna kitu kinaitwa mwili wa Kristo mwili wa Kristo Kristo die kichwa na Kristo aamue mkono wa kulia ndio takuwa ukiponya viuko vingine as long as Jesus Christ. Wewe ni sehemu ya huo mwili ambao Kristo ameupatia mkono wa kulia kama uponyaji. Ukiumia mkono utatumwa, enda uponya, enda uponya, enda uponya. One thing itakuweka katika healing contact is existing katika ushirika wa wateule ambao ni mwili wa Kristo. Whereby kuna watu Mungu ameappoint wahudumie wengine kwa njia fulani. Mutu ambaye you are a member of body of Christ na katika mwili wa Kristo labda mguu wa kulia dio healing ya the whole body kwamba ukigojeka mguu unaambia ponya mkono there are times god will give you point of contact ya healing kwa maana you are you have contact are you hearing this phrase kuna you the gifts of others in the body of Christ na wewe you operate in that body <laughs> hallelujah oh my god i give you praise hallelujah unapata kwamba huyu ana gift ya miracle huyu ana gift ya prophecy huyu ana gift ya word of knowledge huyu ana gift ya ukarimu huyu ana gift ya kupeana muongozo fulani huyu ako naye and you exist among the gift point of healing ni hizo gift bwana wabariki bwana wabariki na ni vizuri wapendwa sijui kama watu watu, najua, watu wengi upata tu Eh, wadada wa kutebea wadu wa kutebea mkisengenya story kidogo kukura maharagwe na nini why don't you team up na watu ambao they are gifted kama utaugana na watu katika mwili wa Kristo who are gifted utapata kwamba there's a brother in the church a sister in the church a minister of the gospel in the church by the point of contact your healing because of his gift are you hearing this friends Hallelujah. 
I've had issues in the church. Unakuta, unakuta, umeka pahari. Let me give an example. One day I was very sick. Na nikaamuka nikasikia siwezi jiombea. I could only repeat Lord's Prayer. Uh, see Lord's Prayer, Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd. Sauta ikatoka. Nikasikia, si jaisikia fifa kama hiyo. I don't know what is happening. But I thank God. Point of forgotten healing is the body of Christ. Kuna muschana nilikuwa pastor wake hapa anaka London. We are still connected as body of Christ. Simu ikaliambia, "Kambia Bishop, yes. What is happening?" Kambia sasa siwezi ongea sasa nikiongea nasikia na umu wa Saidi. Akasema, "Bishop, unajua masaya London na hapa tumeachana na 2 hours or 3 hours." Akaniambia ameamka saa tisa usiku kaonyeshwa nikipambana na viumbe vya kipepo kubwa tunapigana tunapigana na niko peke yangu bwana kamwambia shikilia yeye thank god she was there in the body of christ thank god somebody somewhere was there akaonyeshwa kaonyeshwa nikamwambia sister kama unaweza Chukua one hour and intercede. Within one hour, nilipona miraculously. Why? Point of contact. Ni mutu mwingine. Kabo katika roho. Mwili wa kristo. Ni kiungu kingine. May God give you network of gifts. Network of gifts. Sema network of gifts. One time, nilikuja hapa kanisani saa tisa. Bahati wakatua kulikuwa na wakora. Baba Sharome. Kulikuwa hii barabara nilikuwa napitia ma, wakora wote. Sa hiyo brand huko ume, umekuja. Hii barabara ilikuwa, ilikuwa napitia wakora wote wa Israel. Hii gate ilitubua sana. Ukija usubua dakika tano unadugwa na kisu. Hii gate. So mimi nikaja. Nikasamisha gari pare kwa gate. Watchman hakufugua haraka. And I saw wakora pande ile. Alipofungua nikaingiza kapa gari nikaingia kwa papale. Hapa ndani kulikuwa na watu wanapisiwa akina Aris youth kadhaa. Bwana asifiwe sana. Bwana asifiwe. You know what happened? Waliruka. The following day nilikuwa na safari ya kwenda Conference Lagos Apostolic Faith. Na kwa gari yangu kulikuwa na passport karibu 20 na yangu ilikuwa hapa. Nilikuwa naja kuomba kwa maana kuna mtu manager wa Kenya Airways alitumwa na pesa 6000 dollars. Nilipia watu kadhaa fair na sijui yako wapi jamaa si muoni. Kitabu nipiga magoti niliona bunduki kama tatu juu ya kichwa. Nikaabua amuka fugua za mimi office si si na kitu kwa ofisi. Na kwa gari ah nikakaa wakaniambia toa vitu hakuniguza hatuna shida na wewe pastor toa vitu kwa kwa fuko nikatoa kulikuwa na gri tatu wakachukua sijui kulikuwa na hawa naomba hapa sijui nani walikuwa na shabriwa huko huko now do not repent sa hiyo hiyo kuna chiarede wetu alikuwa anaitwa mama nicolas sa hiyo akasikia kama kuna gari inashabuliwa hapo nje kwa barabara yao akaambia mume wake amuka tu obe bishop amuka bishop dio wa kuenda saa tisa kanisani na wana kia kama hiyo ni gari yake they started interceding sigeweza kujiombea buduki tatu zinanielekea but the body of christ connection na dada ule katika mwili wa kristo save my life hallelujah another time nikapa mimi nimepitia wakora kuna mkora alikuwa anataka kunidunga kisu hapa bahati dukani kaambia i bishop nimesikia na nani apia vizuri i was like reverend nataka kujiua na kabla sija kufa nataka kukuua nikashaka what's wrong haya na katoa kisu anidunge hapa kitu kanijaza nikasema in the name of jesus i will not die akanguka na kisu do you know who saved me kuna wasichana walikuwa na Kage and Robert akina Margaret two girls 
two girls two girls wali moja isema gai 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 pastor na wawa wameketwa kule chai aliona vision they started interceding they departed the point of contact because kiroho i'm connected with somebody somewhere my god you can get point of contact kwa maana katika ulimwengu wa roho you are connected with gifted men and women pigia yesu makofi usipate watu wa mchezo around you usiweke watu wa msaha around you Jesus hana arrangement ya urafiki wa kucheza. Arrangement ya mwili wa Kristo is a regiment of gifts. Gifts to serve one another. Wewe mkono ponya mguu. Wewe mguu beba mwili. Get people who are gifted. Na wako na connection katika roho ya Bwana. May the Lord anoint you. May God bless you in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Pigia Yesu makofi. Now we are finishing. We make a tereba kashaka roko posoka the masataraba is possible friends is possible is possible is possible is possible uwe kwamba umeingizwa kwa mpangilio wa karama nyingi ambazo zimepangwa na Yesu zikushughulikie na wao washughulikie unakuta saa ile <laughs> Jesus is Lord even finances I have seen things happen. People about I don't know how. Wengine wako America, wengine wako Britain, wengine wako wapi? <sighs> Mimi nawaambia kuna siku moja mtu Texas na anijui. Mama aliyekuwa kitchen akipika chakula Texas. Hiyo ilikuwa mimi hata sikuwa na passport. Sijui kuingia ndege ni nini. Atemuko akamweka uchungu akaambiwa there is a man of god in africa suffering anahitaji pesa ya chakula na huduma anahitaji pesa ya huduma sauti kamwambia chukua pesa yote ulionao kitchen umtumie mkono kaandika kwa ukuta leverett peter gatimo nairobi kenya ukirudia alipigia bishop moja huo bishop akawa na nijua na kapata jia within one week mimi niona check kacheka naitwa cashier's check ka 900 dollars kusema i may not know you well but evening na kwa bi alinenewa asubuhi nami nilikuwa nyumbani nalilia Mungu tukua na mke wangu hatuna chakula ya kupea wachugaji twataka kwenda crusade kajiado hakuna pesa tunafungua kanisa kayole hakuna msaada god make away jioni hapa american ya asubuhi i tell you i pray uingie kwa network <laughs> network network one day i was driving my my ile kenogi na nilikuwa holiday na siku anajua ni holiday nilichelewa kutabua ni holiday iliweko mpaka mande and i had a bishop meeting so i spent all the money nikapatia mabishop fair na wakura nikifikiri kwa pesa kufika pare kinongi gari yangu nikaona imeisha mafuta kitu ambao sijaona kwa muda mrefu kuangalia pesa hakuna naenda kuchukua mke wangu airport ametoka uk nikasimamisha Bishop Macheka ya Bishop can I give you money usinipe kwa maana sijaona Mungu akiniachilia and I kept quiet as God sijaona any time mimi nikiingia hivyo mafuta ndio nimwagia haya simu kalia tit kuangalia sema ametoa 25000 kama who are you bishop god has commanded me to send you 25000 network 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 one night ilikuwa nimekaa kwa nyumba saa saba usiku mtu mmoja hata si wa kanisa letu hata miss ni wambali i was surprised nikaona simu pesa imewekwa huyu hata hata si wa kipentecostal akaniambia bishop kuna kitu na niambia haulali ukifikiria mambo ya kanisa ilikuwa saa 7:30 na 
nikaona pesa ngapia what was that na nilikuwa niambia god i'm waiting upon you kwa maana kesho na gojoa na daiwa lakini network is working kuna network between you and the father na father and the gift they will be commanded to create point of contact for your healing usikae kama mtu ambaye anacheza unaongea ukisema umefika mwisho unaongea ukisema sijielewi kama una nguvu god you command strength somewhere come my god halama sheka ropa god has network of gift in the body of christ may the lord anoint this church may god bless your life and finally utapata healing contact ukifika level ya anointing tutaongea hiyo another day hiyo talk is very deep is very deep vile mtu ufika level ya anointing na kuna tembea nguvu ya uponyaji kwa jia bao si ya kawaida rest out for prayer rest out for prayer hakuna mungu kama wewe Hakuna Mungu Hakuna Mungu kama wewe ewe Mungu Nasema 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 Wewe Mungu wewe ni alpha na omega wewe ni wewe ni alpha na omega ewe mungu wa pokea sifa zote ba pokea inua mikono juu kwa bwana pokea sifa zetu bwana Ewe mu inua tena pokea sifa zetu pokea sifa pokea sifa zetu bwana ewe mungu nasema haleluya nasema Nasema Kuna kitu kinakupatanisha na uponyaji na nguvu za uponyaji Mungu wako nazo ndani ya Mungu kuna nguvu zimeamuliwa zikuponye aisi katika Bwana kuna nguvu ambazo zinasukumwa zielekee kwako na katika moyo wako wakati umefika kutokea contact katikati ya moyo wako na hizo nguvu kuna kitu maseka daba kuti makasha karabobo sanda rema mama katarababo kuti ni masaka kuna nguvu ndani ya Bwana zina vibrate zimeamuliwa zingirie doa yako na upokea amani usiku wa leo in the name of the lord sharaba babo seka shekete kenema makasha katababosa shekerere mazinda riapa roko poso karababo taina masika raba yeko sokata papa kanda yenda mikata kaposaya rema sindirima yoko pokashanda yekata mazindirima mosa I test through God is hearing people here. Wewe ambao na umwa na viungo kuna nguvu inakuelekea. Na hiyo nguvu inasema upone. Oh, katika moyo wako. Na usijisumbue usi it's working now. It's working now. Right now it's working. It is working. It is working. Kuna nguvu that has been commanded to us your body, to us your family, to us your finances, to us your soul, to heal you, to make you whole. It's moving now to us you now. Haitakosea, italenga, itapata wewe mahali unaungua. It's moving. Mm. Sharara bara katara raba katara bobo zenere bakata raka baba baba bobo zenere babo roko bobo shekara raba baba rekerere bakata raba zenere bakanda 
Makata rababo shenerere makandu rorobo. Shenerere bababo zekara rababo sanda. Makata rababo shenerere ba. Shekene mama masanda. Metani masinda ribo. Kuna mazaba kashenerere ba. Kuna mataba kashenerere ba kaya. My God, I worship you. My Father, I give you praise. Kuna attacks as a tani. Zina vujwa vujwa katika anga. Kuna mishale rikwe na kulenga. Buana maivuja vujwa. Kwa kuna wingu la usarama linaenda kukufunika kuna miali ya moto itakumulikia katika jina la Yesu mwana wa Mungu aliye hai hmm. asante bwana asante bwana asante bwana asante bwana asante mfalme Asante Mungu wa nguvu. Asante Bwana wa mabwana. Asante. Endelea kuomba. Endelea kumuitia Bwana. Endelea kumuamini. Continue in prayer. Jesus loves you. Wapendwa no listen Kuna pahali wewe na nguvu za mugu za uponyaji mnapatana Na kuna nguvu zitakuingia ziangamize kila ugonjwa na zipindue mwelekeo wa mapepo na hazitakosa na mjui si uponyaji tu wa magonjwa zitapenya hata pahali umekuwa kiungua kifedha na kiakili hazitakosa there is power in this by god it is so sharp kwamba haikosei katika kulenga mahali unaumia kuna watu hapa you are struggling na maumivu ya kichwa there are people here satan has attacked you mara kwa mara na uremafu wa kichwa hata bila kukwambia anything god has spoken about your healing right now kuna mtu as i speak now there is somebody na si mtu mmoja na si wawili na si watatu about instantly mungu amekuponya maumivu ambao inatokana na kichwa na na kuambia hutaisikia tena hata uende wapi utajua god has healed you katika jina la Yesu katika jina la Yesu katika jina la Yesu wey kuna mambo makubwa bleeding imekuwa kiendelea umekuwa kitokwa na damu god is healing you nine bwana nakuponya right now receive your miracle by god's grace wapendwa i don't know what to do because time imeisha But nataka usikize watu waliokuwa kwa hiyo mkutano kuna pahali fulani utashikana na nguvu za uponyaji na sio tu kuponywa utaponywa Mungu ataanza pia kutransmit uponyaji through you na ukitoka hapa usijichanganye na watu wa msaha endo jiweke wakfu kuna wengine hapa uwepo wa Kristo utakuwa around you na utasababisha ubadilike i hear this friends kuna watu presence ya Yesu itakuwa suri you na utajikuta you are quickened to prophesy hata kuna watu utapigia simu na watagazia uponyaji kwa simu God you just quicken you hata kwa bedroom yako katika jina la Yesu mwana wa Mungu aliye hai point of contact of healing receive it in just Christ's name hallelujah hallelujah baba tunakushukuru kwa kutupenda tukukushukuru kwa sababu neno hili umelinena linazama sujawa imani hapa linazaa karama za uponyaji zinakaposeka na bakasha repa sotanima oh my god my god i give you praise for you are doing it na baba wetu napoondoka nguvu hii moto huu utaua huu ufuate mtu 
no siondoke until the word of god is performed through us katika kristo mwana wa mungu aliye hai tuwapana kuamini amen amen